Hello, welcome to channel Maths Magic. Today we are going to discuss one of the most important question based on arithmetic series. Question says a brick layer builds a triangular wall with the layers of bricks as shown in this diagram over here. If the brick layers uses 171 bricks, how many layers did he build? So first of all, you have to realize that this question is based on arithmetic series. It's pre-decided over here because I am explaining you this topic, but you have to figure out that if they are talking about cumulative count of bricks, that means it's about arithmetic series. And second thing they are asking us to find the number of layers they have formed using these number of bricks. So these are some clue which you have to use to find out that this question is based on arithmetic series. So how can we proceed with this question? So first of all, it says the total number of bricks which is 171 used to make this wall so over here we can write this as sum of arithmetic series 171 as sum of arithmetic series so sn is the total number of bricks used so total number of bricks used over here is 171 and n over here is representing number of rows so we don't know the number of rows used over here so we have to actually find n that will give us the number of rows he built and we don't have any other information except that this diagram so in this diagram you can see that they have horizontally stacking this brick layers and as this going forward or upward you can see the number of bricks is getting one lesser than the previous one so over here you can count it's one two three four in next row it's one two three so every time you can see that there is one less than the previous one so if we will consider from top to bottom so over here you, this is u1 the first term of the break so u1 is 1 over here and every next row becomes 1 additional that means this u2 is 2 over here that means you can see that the common difference over here is 2 so we can add these two information again so u1 is 1 and the common difference is one also because every time one more bricks is being added top to bottom over here i'm going from top to bottom because we don't know what was the number of bricks at the bottom but we know that at the end there is one one brick and every time it's being reduced by one brick so if we will go from top to bottom so pattern will remain same every time it will increase by one brick and the initial brick will become one so you don't need to be confused that why i'm taking u1 as one and d as one also if you still find any difficulty in understanding this u1 and d1 you can clarify your doubts in comments okay now we have to further proceed over here we will use the formula sn is equal to n by 2 2u1 plus n minus 1 times t so we know sn is 171 so let's write 171 
n is not known over here so n by 2 and u1 is 1 and n minus 1 and d is again 1 so we got this equation 171 is equal to n by 2 times 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 into 1 we can simplify this further so let's bring 2 on other side it becomes 2 into 171 and n times 2 plus n let's expand this bracket minus n we can further simplify this bracket you can see it becomes n times 2 minus 1 is 1 so n plus 1 which can be further simplified to n square plus n so we got 2 into 171 is equal to n square plus 1 sorry n square plus n so let me clear this so that i can further simplify this question so we have n square plus n is equal to 2 into 171 n square plus n is equal to 2 into 171 don't be confused i have shifted left hand side to right hand side and right hand side to left hand side it's possible this is allowed in the equation there is nothing unusual over here so you don't need to be confused with this okay let's further simplify this now we can bring this one side and it will be 342 after multiplying and it becomes is equal to 0 you can see that this is a quadratic equation now we can solve the quadratic equation using factorization method or quadratic formula over here i'll go for factorization technique so hope you can understand this if you don't remember the quadratic formula or factorization technique you can go and watch my previous videos over here you will learn how to factorize and solve the quadratic equation or how to use the quadratic formula so over here we are having n square minus n minus 342 so we have to factor 342 so that we can get product as negative 342 and sum or subtraction as minus 1 the coefficient of n over here is minus 1 so let's factor this out 342 so we can i can directly do this but i want to show you that how can we proceed with this so over here you can see it's 171 and then further we can go with this 3 5 are 15 and then 57 and then further we can go with this 319 okay so you can see we factor we prime factorize this so we got the combination 19 we can take the two prime factors over here 19 and this one all together so it becomes 2 into 3 into 6 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 3 is 18 so first we will try with these two factors 18 and 19 and then we'll see if it's working now so obviously multiplication is going to be 342 now we have to check whether we can find negative 342 or not and negative 1 or not so if we will take negative 19 plus 18 that will give us both negative 1 and negative 342 so let's use that we can write n square minus 
नेगेटिव नाइनटीन एन प्लस एटीन एन नेगेटिव थ्री फोर्टी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एन माइनस नाइनटीन एंड देन वी कैन टेक प्लस एटीन कॉमन so if you will take 18 common as you have seen that 342 factors with 19 so over here we will get 19 is equal to 0 so we can further simplify this it will be n plus 18 and n minus 19 is equal to 0 so we got two values n Plus 18 is equal to zero, and n minus 19 is equal to zero. So n plus 18 is equal to zero. N minus 19 is equal to zero. So n we got negative 18, and n we got 19. Now over here, as you know that we are talking about number of layers, so number of layers cannot be negative. Therefore Our final answer is n is equal to nineteen. Let me cross check if there is any error in this. We got negative nineteen over here. So it was n square minus n. So let me go back and cross check this if it's correct. Now I'll just uh, undo my work and I'll check the previous working if it's all correct or not because it seems there is something wrong over here in calculation somewhere. So just let me cross verify this. So it will take some time. Have patience, please. because i think there is something wrong which has happened in calculation somewhere so let's wait for this and let me undo what have gone wrong earlier so i'll just cross check that quickly it seems it's not happening so i'll just rewrite and cross check that just give me a second please i'll write the formulas again and then i'll see what was wrong exactly over there so i think it's taking time so i'll just clear and redo this Okay, so our formula was n by two two u one plus n minus one into d. So this is good, and then it's one seven one. n by two is fine, and two times one becomes one, and over here we have to substitute d as one, so it becomes, oh sorry, two times one is two, and then one times n is n minus n, so. It becomes one seven one times two, and then n. It's two minus one is one, so n plus one. So it's n plus one over here. So n square plus n. Okay, so n square plus n. Okay, so this was the mistake. We were supposed to have n square plus n, but I wrote n square minus n at that time. So this was the mistake that time. So hope it's clear now. So this is n square 
plus n minus 342 is equal to 0 so as you have seen that we got two factors 18 and 19 that works over here now we need positive 1 so we will do otherwise we will take positive 19 n minus negative 18 n and 342 is equal to 0 so 19 n minus 18 n is positive n and if you multiply both of them it you will get negative 342 we have already discussed it i'm not going to discuss it again so n is common n and then we can take negative 18 common you have seen that 342 factors 19 so it's 19 over here we got two values n minus 18 and n plus 19 is equal to 0 therefore n minus 18 is equal to 0 and n plus 19 is equal to 0 so n becomes 18 and n becomes negative 19 okay so we got it correct now now as i already told you n cannot be negative because it's a number of rows therefore our final answer going to be n is equal to 18 so this is the final answer if you still have any doubts you can get back to me i'll definitely try to reply you in comments thank you for watching